I listen me now, people. I man say my dad that great stone will have to move. I a guy walking away. The cop a shot them the mark. Excuse me, I beg nobody move. I'm a real safe. Don't take you up on the borderline. It makes you that you're with a polish now shine On them on the fears, on them on the figure Remind me of the men's on the Lexus and the Beamer To what this girl, put him up in the six of us And he can run into a church of a thousand How many girls do we get? Many, 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 many the dancer genre for decades has been a male-dominated industry and females have come a long way in holding their own in this dancehall space. When you think of female dancehall artists that are stars, a few big names come to mind. We have Lady Saw, Tanya Stevens, Patra, Lady G, Nadine Sutherland, Cecile Spice, Tammy Chin, among many other great female artists. Dancehall music is like the rebellious cousin of reggae. It went through periods of highs and lows, but it is now back on a steady path upwards and we have a slew of female DJs that are making their mark. Lady G was one of those women who was able to pave the way for the success we see with female DJs today. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the iconic career of one of our veterans in the game, Lady G. This is a fact, me a fake country Men are the mix up and blam blam with them And now you know what energy have to tell them Son of a da 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 Come here with your galley galley train Just ease up Breeze up Let's show me how you meant And it goes again Let's show me how you meant And it goes again Janice Fife, also known as Lady G, was born on May 7, 1968. She is a Jamaican dancehall and reggae DJ. She is widely recognized as a dancehall veteran and a pioneer in the music industry representing the Jamaican culture. She was born in Spanish Town in the parish of St. Catherine, Jamaica. Fife attended St. Joseph High School and Danone Technical School. Her father is reggae singer Ken Fife, who has toured with the Congos and worked with the vintage reggae groups The Sparkles and The Eternals. As a child, she used to sneak out of the house to travel around the island with renowned sound system Black Scorpio. <laughs> After leaving school, Lady G met dancehall DJ Lord Sassafras, who became her mentor. 
Lady G is probably best known for her first hit, Nuff Respect, which was produced by Gussie Clark in 1988. In the same year, Lady G recorded two popular songs in combination with Papa Son entitled Legal Rights and Round Table Talk. In successive years in the late 1980s, Lady G caused a stir with her performances at the infamous Sting stage show in Jamaica. In 1988, she appeared in a clash with Lady Mackerel, Sister Charmaine, and Junior Ranks. And again in 1989, she clashed once more with Sister Charmaine as well as Patra and Lady P, and she tore that show right down. In 1994, Lady G began working with Danny Brown and his Main Street label, and in 1997, the partnership resulted in the hit single, Breeze Off, which was on the filthy rhythm. This was the same instrumental that was used by Mr. Vegas for his international smash head side. <laughs> In 1997, she recorded Mana Badman for the film Third World Cup. In 2000, Lady D featured alongside Chrissy D on Girls Like Us by the B15 Project, which was a UK garage song which reached number 7 on the UK singles chart. She performed to great acclaim at the Splash Festival in Chemnitz, Germany in July 2001. In 2002, she formed her own production company and called it G-String with her brother. G-String Productions released the Belly Skin Rhythm featuring Sizzla, Kiputan and Cecile through Green Seas Records and the Flavor Rhythm also featuring Macadiamond, Lady Saw and Sizzla which was distributed by BP Records. Lady G performed at the Tony Rebel Rebel Salute 2020 Festival which drew much praise from the audience, organizer and media alike.
Lady G was recognized by the Jamaican Reggae Industry Association with an iconic artist in the Music Industry Award in February 2020. Buju Banton and Shabba Ranks were also honored at that same event. Lady G still continues to make music today and she has released several songs over the past couple of years. You better beware Because the art of man shall be desperately wicked At them time that we live in What is up one pan judge of earth Can't believe said them take what the little girl Them see the little old lady and grab the purse I'm gonna be leaving with you an interview she had on The Fix and this explains exactly where her thought process is in the music industry. I thank you all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves. One love. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. Guys, now watching so much on YouTube, nothing huge. <laughs> really? Yeah, nothing huge, man. So, honestly, I, I never know I would end up on this program well, you know, the thing is we would love to have you guys but <laughs> then we're saying, you know this show is so ratchet and stupid like yeah, yeah. you yeah, for yeah. you people to come is like no, no i mean people love people love it man people love the entertainment people want to know what are going from in you know inside them house mm -hmm. you know you know i come to talk about everything i we'll try to yeah <laughs> but where have you been because it's always seemed like um most of the people in like the 90s most yeah. of the artists in the 90s like them just leave up foreign like that's where you've been all right let me tell you the truth when you're in jamaica mm -hmm. it's like you don't get any time to really have family time because you keep you know the music is so you know what i mean contagious it's like you always are things that Yo, me or a rhythm, I forget on a rhythm. So at that time, you, you don't get to really have any family values. You don't really get to pay attention to your family. Yeah. So my my two daughters them reach a stage, college stage now. So me have to chip in. I mean, help have been doing the job for all the years. So yeah. I think now it's fitted time for me to chip in. You so know they're, what I mean? they're, they're a college. So they are, yes, okay. they are abroad. So I have to be there with them, you know, supporting oh. them and you know, give him the motherly love and so you don't haunt the business. I mean, that's what you used no. to feed and pay for the tuition. So you know, yes, what I mean? yes, yes, yes. But I mean, I still, I still, I still get called for shows same way. Yeah. <laughs>